Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Sam and I make videos about makeup, chronic illness, and whatever I want. Today, I thought it would be fun to go over the last three years of my yearly favorites to see what I still consider a favorite or if things have just gone and disappeared and I no longer think about it. So I'm gonna break it down year by year rather than just category because I think that would be easier. And I will also link each video in case you wanna hear my more in-depth thoughts because I'm just gonna kind of give a brief yes or no on to if it's still a favorite or not. Let's start with 2020 favorites. In that video, I started with TV. So let's go through that real quick. Haunting of Hill House. I haven't watched this in a while, but I still love The Haunting of Everything. The one after that is The Haunting of Bly Manor. Love that whole little series. I still do. Schitt's Creek. I probably quote Schitt's Creek with my best friend on a regular basis. It's such a good show. I think most people have seen it by now, but if you haven't, it's a great comedy. So I recommend checking that out. The Sopranos. I still love The Sopranos. I still really love The Sopranos. It it's something I haven't re-watched since 2020 because it is such a long show. I'm one of those people who actually really enjoyed the ending of it, so it's a favorite. I actually bought the DVD set after I finished watching it. The Real Housewives always and forever a favorite. I watch it every week. There seems to be some city airing, some of the spin-offs I even watch. It's just a fantastic reality TV. If you love pointless bickering and just that kind of stuff, Check out The Real Housewives. I might make a video one day where I like rank my favorite cities or like favorite seasons of cities because I have watched every season of every city at this point. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. This is one where I still like it. It's still a good show, but I don't think I would consider it a favorite anymore. Like having some reflection on it, some distance on it. It's definitely fun but not a favorite anymore. Then I did some tech stuff. YouTube, obviously I still love YouTube. YouTube is probably the thing I watch the most on a day-to-day -day basis. TikTok, I am trying to distance myself from TikTok but it's difficult because I do enjoy it but you know it's probably going to disappear by the end of the year. Ebooks, I still love ebooks. I get them from my library. And it's just so much easier on my wrist, especially because my right wrist is always giving me trouble. It's not carpal tunnel. I forget what it is. I know I figured out what it is because it's not carpal tunnel, but I don't remember what exactly it is. iPad, tablet. Yes, I actually have an iPad here that I use for my notes. I take all my notes and like do video outlines on Microsoft OneNote. I, I don't know. Editing me will confirm or deny. Uh, so I read my notes there. Like my old notes I used to do on paper and I do some outlines but I like being able to have them all digitally because this I can use on my phone, on my iPad, on my computer. Everything is like cross-platform which I really much really much, very much appreciate. I also can play YouTube when I'm getting ready, but I have another iPad that I use for my art stuff. I use it to create thumbnails and little infographics for my channel and whatnot. So yes, I still love having a tablet. The last tech item from 2020 was my Fitbit. I have not had a Fitbit in a while. I upgraded to a smart watch. That started acting finicky and honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get another one. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see where I'm at. I would probably switch to Pixel Watch because I have a Pixel now, but it's not something I'm really thinking about. So Fitbit, not really favorite anymore. Next, Beauty. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I still like that product and I think it's great, but I upgraded to the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer and I like this so much more. I think it's much more natural. I can wear it alone. I feel like the flawless filter, it looked kind of funky because it was overly tinted. This does have a tint. This is the lightest one, which is Morganite, but it's not so tinted that I feel like I have to cover it up. So, uh, flawless filter, not a favorite anymore because I found a new favorite. Joe Malone, Joe Malone Orange Bitters. Still favorite. 
probably top three perfumes of all time. Dyson Hairdryer, used it to die. How I achieved my uh, curls, here she is in all her glory. Uh, absolutely love her. NYX Glitter Primer, yep. Um, do I have my replacement? I just bought a replacement because I am like one use away from finishing mine up. Still absolute favorite. I have no desire to try other products. I've heard some friends say, oh, like this one's better. No, this is perfect and I'm not going to switch when it's just working so well for me. Fenty Gloss. Absolutely. I have most of my gloss drawer is Fenty, all of these. And then I have a Fenty gloss stick that just came out. And I don't know, oh, here it is. <laughs> Fenty lip liner. So yes, Fenty gloss is my absolute favorite for fun glittery glosses. For my everyday glosses, I would say there are different ones that I prefer, but if we're just like, what do you have the most of and what do you use the most? It's definitely Fenty. Benefit Gimme Brow, wearing it today. Gone through endless tubes since 2020, so definitely still a favorite. Cover FX Blush Duos. I will say I haven't used these as much as I used to because I have discovered cream blush and with my skin, being combination leaning dry recently because of my health problems, I've been preferring cream blush. I still love these and I still highly recommend them. Um, Mojave Mauve uh, is still an absolute favorite of mine, as is Spiced Cinnamon, I think it is. I love that one for fall and winter. So still a favorite, just not as utilized. The Ordinary Peeling Solution. I do still love this. I haven't used it because, as I mentioned, my skin is combination leaning dry and I try to limit my actives these days. I would still recommend it. It's a nice product, but I'm not personally using it. The Ordinary Marula Oil. I actually switched back to Drunk Elephant because when my skin got really, really dry last year, the Ordinary just like wasn't absorbing. It was like sitting on top of my skin and not sinking in. So. Not a favorite anymore. If you see a little bug, you're not imagining it. There is a little bug. O'Keefe's Working Hands. Still love it. Still go through tubes on a regular basis. I just had one in my last empties video. Highly recommend. Moving on to music. So Led Zeppelin and Classic Rock. Obviously Led Zeppelin will always be my favorite band. There's no discussion. And drinks. Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I... Love it the most in the summer, still a favorite, always. Tim Hortons coffee, ew, no. I've gotten spoiled with an espresso, so no more Tim Hortons. Uh, Stock or Stoke cold brew, I haven't had that in a minute since I got the Nespresso machine, but I do still love it, it's very smooth. My next section was clothing. North Face Osito jacket, still love her, wear her all the time once it gets chilly. Joggers, yep. The only sweatpants I like. Old Navy Thermals, absolutely the best pajamas. Still a favorite. Adidas Sports Bras. I only have the one. I still love it, but I haven't been able to find like that one. I don't want the ones with like the molded cup or the little like inserts. So I haven't been able to find any more like the one that I have, unfortunately. Ugg Slippers, yes, I love them. Um, mine are still going strong, thankfully. Crocs, I actually just like two months ago bought a new pair because I wore through my second pair of them. So I'm on my third pair now. Finally for 2020, we have books. First up, The Silent Patient. Still one of the best books that I've read. It is incredible and I highly recommend it. The Outsider. I still think this is one of my top Stephen King books. I like it more than it. It's very good. A Head Full of Ghosts. This one I think they're making into a TV show or a movie. I love it. I've tried other books by Paul Tremblay, Tremblay, I forget. Uh, I didn't enjoy them. This one though, great. If It Bleeds, mm, fun but not like a favorite anymore, I guess. The Sundown Motel, absolutely. Uh, Simone St. James makes fantastic thrillers. The Girl on the Train, no. 
the longer I sat with this book afterwards and the more I've thought about it, the less that I actually enjoy it. Okay, that was my 2020 favorites. Now we'll move on to 2021. Starting with TV, Why Women Kill. This would still be a favorite if they didn't cancel it. But the seasons that are there, I think there's three, are still um, definitely favorite for me. Cruel Summer, also canceled. A uh, huge bummer, because I loved this as well. I don't remember which season this was. I feel like this had to have been the first season. There were two seasons and it was great and I loved both, but it got canceled because nobody else liked the second season. Bummer. Midnight Mass, touched on that with the last one. Yes, still a favorite. Only Murders in the Building. This new season starts on the 27th and I'm so excited because I think it just gets better with every season. So it's definitely still a favorite. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. This didn't get canceled. They did decide to just end it. And I think they ended it well. It's definitely still a favorite, although I do miss it terribly. What We Do in the Shadows. This is unfortunately wrapping up with the season that's about to air, but it's definitely still a favorite. It's so funny. I love that it's a little gory. It has both like, I guess like horror comedy elements. It's horror, but it's mainly comedy and it is definitely a favorite. I don't know what my cats are doing. Movies. Fear Street. I feel like I still like these, but I haven't watched them since 2021, so I can't say for sure. I don't have Netflix anymore, but I think they were well done for like a young adult kind of horror movie. Halloween Kills. I said in this video that it was my second favorite Halloween, and I stand by that because the kills were so good. Inside. Still love it. Still listen to the soundtrack. I haven't watched it in a while because like I said, I don't have Netflix anymore, but love Bo Burnham's inside. Next is books. We have Carrie by Stephen King. Still a favorite. All of my Stephen King books will probably stay a favorite except for If It Bleeds because um, I just really like the books that I have read by him. The Exorcist. This is definitely still a favorite. It's, I mentioned this in the original favorites video. It's just so much better than the movie and I've heard the new Exorcist, like, prequel, sequel, whatever it is, is terrible and it sucks because, like, this book is just so good and I feel like it has not been done justice. The Final Girl Support Group, no. I don't think any Grady Hendrix book can stay on my favorites. I just don't... I don't dislike his writing. I read everything he puts out. I enjoy it at the time, but it's definitely not favorites material anymore. Next. Beauty. Olaplex set. All of it. Shampoo, conditioner, leave-in treatment, oil. Yes, I actually need to buy some because I don't know if you can tell, but I had my hair colored. Nothing wild, which is why you might not be able to tell. We did a root melt in, it's not even a shade darker. It's my color without the gold uh, undertone. So it's neutral in my color and then we did like low lights throughout so i want to pick up all the plugs again the only reason i stopped using it is i felt like my hair was in a good state and i wasn't dyeing it anymore or heat styling it now that i'm doing those things i would like to go back uh to add it back into my routine i do still have the oil however and i do still love it laneige lip sleeping mask i still use this every night before bed benefit professional yes I still use it here. I did not use it today because I knew it would just melt off my face. I still use it here and here because, again, you can see my texture here. And I just have kind of like larger pores. That's not as noticeable as this, but just kind of blurs it a little bit. Pat McGrath Lust Gloss. Since 2021, I have one, two, three, four. Four. I do love it a lot, but I have to say, I said I loved it so much I was going to replace Fenty. That is not true. There aren't enough shades in the Pat McGrath for me to replace Fenty. So uh, it's more of like my everyday neutral stuff. The fun ones come from Fenty, but it's mostly just nude glosses I get from Pat. Way Curl Cream Fragrance Free. They unfortunately discontinued the fragrance free, but I did buy the full size of the fragranced. I mostly style my hair now that I've been getting it cut. I don't wear it curly too frequently, but I will still use the curl cream because it helps 
stop the frizzing especially if it's humid and it doesn't weigh my hair down so I still very much like it whether you're styling your hair because it does say you can use it if you're styling it or wearing it curly I do recommend that product and the fragrance is floral however it disappears almost immediately like once your hair is like dried you don't smell it at all anymore which I do appreciate. Stila Stale Day Liner. I have one like right here. I would say this is a favorite if I wanted. I have a brown one too. I don't do this kind of eyeliner. I have been doing eyeliner but I've been preferring gel like these little pots that I could draw on or using eyeshadow as liner because I feel like I don't have steady enough hands to get that crisp line and I also think it's just more bold than anything I'm looking for so uh, it's a good product but I wouldn't consider it a favorite anymore. Uh, UD 24-7 waterproof eyeliner. Yeah, I got a few here. I got a brown one. I'm wearing my black one today. I don't know where it is. Yes, I still love these. I'm wearing the black one on my upper eyes. I'm wearing ColourPop one down here, but I do still love these. Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. Yes, I still like that. I don't wear lashes too frequently, but when I do, I still prefer that lash glue. 24-7 Shadow by Urban Decay. Honestly, I only have that green one. I've only used it once. I decluttered the other one. I can't call these favorite. Like, I like them. They work well. I just don't have many. The next one, though, ColourPop Super Shock. I have a whole basket of these guys now. They will forever be a favorite product. Beauty Bay Wilderness Palette. I do still love this. I love everything by Beauty Bay. I haven't expanded my Beauty Bay collection though because inflation has caused the prices to go up so much that, I don't know, I feel like in my head because I've gotten them for such a good price, the new price just kind of like, hmm. I do want a couple of them and maybe one day, but I do still love this palette. Huda Mercury Retrograde. Love her too. She actually took the top spot away from New New. That's my favorite Huda palette. Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2. It's funny because at that moment I, I only had that Pat McGrath palette. I said I was going to slowly expand my collection. Now I have like 11 Pat palettes. Um, yeah, a big Pat girl these days. Next is Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. Absolutely love her in the fall and winter still a favorite. Now this one's interesting. I have Replica Jazz Club, which I still love. And I said, By the Fireplace was a close second, but I didn't love it as much. I would switch that now. I now love By the Fireplace a ton and Jazz Club would be a close second, but I don't love it as much as By the Fireplace. Added food in 2021. Pickle Doritos. Love it. Don't think I can eat them with celiac disease. Uh, Sabotasso Gloom-Free Pizza. Eat them every Friday. Sweet Lauren's Cookie Dough. Still the best gloom-free cookie dough I have had. Amy's Gloom-Free Burritos. Still eat these on a regular basis. My miscellaneous Bobble Bar or Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar jewelry, specifically earrings. Yep, I still buy new ones every year. Still love them. It's Always Sunny Podcast. I have this thing with podcasts where I get bored of them quickly. The only one I regularly listen to, and even then I take breaks, is The Basement Yard, and then I have to catch up. But I just, like, get in these moods where I just I don't want a podcast. I don't even want to watch it. So I haven't watched this in probably two years. Ikea. Always a favorite. Ikea will always be a favorite. I was just there getting new pans, like, three weeks ago. Sundresses. Still love them. I bought a new one this year. Duluth Free Range Bralette. Still love these. Still have the two I have, but they discontinued them, and I will not forgive them for that. And that wraps up our 2021 favorites. Now let's get on here. If I 2022. All right. Movies and TV I combined in 2022. The first one on the list, CSI Vegas. I'm so furious that they canceled this. I get the numbers showed that it wasn't well received and people didn't love it. But is it not enough that I loved it and you should have kept it around for me? Because I thought it was as good as the original CSI. But what do I know? Devil in Ohio on Netflix. Yeah, still love it. I haven't seen it in a while, but it was 
it was really really good white lotus absolutely i think we are getting a new season next year great every season is fantastic cabinet of curiosities no there were some that were good but overall i don't think it was a favorite which pains me to say sinister absolutely um this stands as one of the best horror movies I have ever seen and I don't think I'll ever change my mind on that. And I'm gonna add, because it's down here further, Oculus, also feel the same way about Oculus. The Descent, fantastic, A+. Gongium Haunted Asylum, yep, still, still a favorite. Incantation, still a favorite. The Taking of Deborah Logan, still a favorite. I watched some good movies in 2022. Books. Sharp Objects by Julian Flynn, Yes, I actually watched this year, the HBO series, and I very much enjoyed that as well. Gone Girl, Jillian Flynn. I still haven't seen the movie. Still love the book though. Pet Cemetery audiobook. I don't know. I have a thing with like voices, like where people do the voices of the characters to differentiate, and I don't like that, and Michael C. Hall did that, and it just... I liked it, but now, like, when I think about it, I'm kind of just like, mm, actually, no. Salem's Lot, yes. Uh, one of the best Stephen King books that I have read. Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I, like, Riley Sager is probably my favorite author right now. I love everything he does. I can't rank it exactly. All of them are my favorite. The newest one might be, like, the top, and then everything else comes in second, which is the last time I lied. That one might be, like, honestly the second best to me. It's hard. I just love all Riley's books. The Broken Girls, Simone St. James, like I said with the other one. Uh, Simone St. James writes amazing thrillers. The Book of Cold Cases, Simone St. James, it stands. Chasing the Boogeyman. I read the second one, was it this year or last year? I read the second one recently, and I don't know. I still like it, and it's still good. I don't know that it's a favorite anymore. Uh, Clown in a Cornfield. I love these. These are like, uh, and Clown in a Cornfield 2, Friend Lives. There's a new one that comes out soon, and I'm excited about it because I think they're fun, young adult horror. I have a Kindle Paperwhite in with the books, I guess, instead of in miscellaneous or something. I still love my Kindle. I use it every night before I go to sleep. Beauty. Melt cream blushes. I'm wearing one today. Pinched. Lalabo Cedra 37. My favorite perfume of all time in my entire collection. It's fabulous. Melt sex oil. I love it. I do. I wish it was a smaller container though because there's no way I'm ever going to use it up before it goes bad, which is a bummer. Mighty Patch. I use them every time I have an active pimple. Glam Light Scooby-Doo palettes. I honestly am wearing Glam Light palette today. I'm wearing the Dream, Barbie Dream Summer. Glam Light might be my favorite or second favorite eyeshadow brand at this moment. So I still love them. Lush Body Wash and Lotion. Yeah. Still using both. The lotion has been dethroned as my most favorite. Uh, Lord of Misrule scent. Still love it. Excited for fall. It doesn't feel right to use it any other time than fall. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I'm wearing Pillow Talk today over a cool toned lip liner. Bare Beauty Foundation and Concealer. I love the foundation. I don't love the applicator. The concealer was not heavy duty enough for me. I do love it, but I need something a little heavier for my dark circles. The next one, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour. I'm wearing this today as well. I didn't plan this, by the way. These were just the things that I picked out. <laughs> I hadn't looked at these lists yet. Tatcha the Silk Pe Peony eye cream. I'm actually mad about this because it was my favorite eye cream. And then they reformulated it and all the reviews say it's really drying and it makes your under eyes feel tight. So... I didn't even bother to buy the new formulation. I'm very upset about it. Food, Trader Joe's Roasted Corn. I eat it regularly. Everything but the sushi and dumplings and everything but the taco hot sauces. Yes, I still use both of these. Mango cream popsicles, Trader Joe's. I have a couple in my freezer. Kettle pickle chips. Yes, I love them. They're just very expensive. Although, can I have them with celiac disease? I have to look. I have to question everything now. Uh, Real Sugar Mountain Dew. Yeah, love her. 
hard to find. Lemon loaf, Tezo tea, still one of my favorite teas. Tinky Daya pasta, one of the best gluten-free pastas. Brown sugar bubble tea, absolutely. Other, Lavoie humidifier. Yes, not only do I love that humidifier so much, I bought three of their air purifiers this year. Uh, vinyls. Ah, oh, 2022 was when my brother gifted me a turntable and first records, and now I have a whole collection, and last Christmas I got my own custom record player for Christmas, so, uh, even bigger favorite now, probably. Samsung Galaxy Watch. Was a favorite until Samsung like bricked the app and it just stopped connecting and so now it's just kind of useless to me. I don't know if they fixed it. I haven't checked. I could check but I don't really care. I was just so frustrated at the end. Not a favorite anymore. Procreate. Yes, I still use Procreate on a regular basis for my art. Going fully gluten-free. <laughs> Cute. Uh, yeah, I've done it again because I had to do the gluten challenge so. That, that's definitely a favorite. Taylor Swift. You betcha, buddy. You betcha. And that was 2022. Let's move on to our 2023 favorites. This seems kind of short. So I may be forgetting some things because I'm not going to stop filming to go watch it to make sure like I did it all. But we're going to go into it. It looks like I'm starting out with like beauty related projects. Uh, being Frenchy magnesium stick, I use this every night before bed on my shoulders and my neck because it helps tension and it helps with my migraines significantly. Naturium Biolipid Body Lotion and Oil Body Wash. Yes, I just had some more in my um, empties video and added the uh, body butter even like the biolipid body butter or what something ah love 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 these products <laughs> coco floss yes i need to reorder that because i use it every day dove moisture body wash they just changed this and i don't know if they changed the packaging i just finished one and i need to buy the new one to see if it is just as good or if they have changed it in some way so tentatively yes still a favorite have they not ruined it with the reformulation l'oreal ever pure bond shampoo and conditioner i have big beef with this no it's no longer a favorite because they didn't just change the formula once they didn't just change the formula twice they changed the formula three times in the last year i know this because me and my best friend had like different bottles and she's like, wow, this looks weird now. It made my hair feel dry and we're going through all this stuff and it's different. The bottles say different things. It's crazy. I don't know what they did because it was a great product and now it's hot garbage. So no longer a favorite. Lana Lips. I am finishing it up now. I do love it, but it kind of got a little heavy for everyday use. I switched to something lighter because it was just so thick. When it would get on like my drink and stuff, it was kind of just bleh. And I have the Laneige for overnight. So I do love it. Probably better for winter for me, but I can't say it's not a favorite anymore. I just don't know that I have a place for it, but it is still great and I recommend it. Sniff Citrus Circus. I do really love this. I don't like that the Sniff fragrances have such a short um, lifespan on the skin, but they are fairly affordable, so there's that. I do just love this, though. It's a nice creamy citrus scent. Hourglass Face Palette. Yeah. Definitely a favorite. I'm very bummed that that shade of bronzer doesn't exist for me to buy when I finish the little one up because it is a fantastic bronzer. Odin's Eye in general. I actually have an Odin's Eye palette sitting right in front of me. There's some stuff stacked on it, so I won't show you, but it is the Christmas Eve palette, actually. I do just love Odin's Eye. And then I have Glam Light in general, which we just kind of went over with the Scooby-Doo palettes from 2022. Yes, I love Glam Light. Uh, now it looks like we're into TV. True Detectives season one and three. I would also like to add season four now. That will go on this year's favorites. So great. I didn't get through season two. I probably mentioned this in the video. Season two, I tried and it was just like not good. I couldn't get through the first couple of episodes. Um, one and three, still favorite. And now adding four, really good. 
The Outsider Show. I did love this. I think it stayed pretty true to the book and it was very enjoyable. Three Housewives of Orange County specifically last year. One of the best cities, definitely. And it is still the current season, very enjoyable. Curl Smith in Shower Fixer. Yeah. I, like I said, I'm no longer wearing my hair curly for various reasons. I'll probably make a video about like my hair journey, hair routine. Uh, what have you, but I do recommend this product. And when I do wear my hair wavy, I still use this. Killian Angel Share, so good. Uh, favorite winter scent, best winter scent for me. It's fantastic. And then I have two food items, the Trader Joe's Gluten-Free sh Shrimp and the Trader Joe's Gluten-Free Chicken Nuggets. I have both in my freezer right now. Definitely still a favorite. This still just seems short to me, but that that was the list. Uh, this is just an idea that came to me last night as I was watching somebody else's favorites. And I was like, I wonder what my past favorites were and if they're still my favorites because it's kind of like empties like when you see someone empty products regularly like the same thing regularly you know that it definitely is a full-time favorite and not like a fleeting favorite a favorite of the moment and it made me want to just revisit and be like are these still my favorite how do I feel about these products and I'm happy to say like uh, a lot of these even from four years ago are still favorites so that's pretty cool are any of your favorites from 2020 a favorite now? Can you even remember any of your favorite things from 2020? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time.